Miss Haiti, yeah. are you excited to be here? What's Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm so excited. I don't even have the words to like put it all in. Like my adrenaline is at a high right now. It's such an honor to represent Haiti at Miss Universe because I am a small country, but I'm still fighting because I feel like I can do it. And it's just so exciting to see the fans. I didn't think Haiti would have a lot of fans at Miss Universe, to be honest, but I'm loving it and I'm so appreciative of it. Well, you have a big personality, so you're, you're big, personality bigger than Haiti, right? Oh, yes. It's so much bigger than the island, but, you know, I'm glad that I am the representative, and I hope I'm doing a good job. And how did you get into uh, uh, the beauty pageant world? Mm -hmm. I started when I was 12, and my friend, actually, I was at school, and she received a pamphlet for pageants, and she was like, okay, this is not me you should give it a try. So ever since then, ever since that date, I started competing in locals and then now I'm here internationally at my last pageant. What do you mean your last pageant? Is this, is this like a kind of like a retirement for you? Don't tell me that. It might be. It might be. I feel like Miss Universe is one of the biggest pageants and I've always wanted to be here. And now that I'm here, I think that I'm satisfied. I'm complete. So if even if you didn't make the top 15, mm -hmm. is this just a dream just to be here? Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's just a dream and an honor to be here. Again, it was always a dream of mine as a pageant girl growing up to be at Miss Universe. So to finally be here, and whether I make the top 15 or not, I'm just so happy that I shined through last night. Well, what, what would happen if, if you actually were crowned Miss Universe? How would you react? I would faint. I would probably wake up in the emergency room because I wouldn't know. know. <laughs> I'd be on the floor. I don't even think I would be able to like cry because it would be so surreal. But to be quite honest, if that were to happen, I would be so grateful. I would always keep saying thank you. Thank you, Paula. Thank you, Miss Universe. They'd get tired of me because I'd just be like, thank you, you know, because it's really hard for me, Haiti, to be here and I'm just doing it. <laughs> you, you know, you talk about this, this is a, might be your last uh, pageant. And also you say that Miss Universe is, is one of the most important pageants. What makes the most important uh, for you, aside from Miss International, Miss World, all the other pageants, what makes Miss Universe important? Mm -hmm. Well, I think Miss Universe is more well-known because of the press that it gets. And I think that because we get a lot of coverage and because we get a lot of press, the Miss herself, she's seen a lot and she's very highly respected. And I always thought if I can be in that respective ranking, then I've made it. And then tell me a little, any funny moments that, that's happened since you've been here? Oh my, okay, so yesterday I had these big pterodactyl wings and I almost fell backwards. I was literally holding on to the wardrobe people like, oh my God, I was a bird and I felt like I was literally going to fly. Wait, was that your national costume? Yeah, I was the national bird of Haiti, which is the Hispaniola Trogon. Oh, wow. yeah. Now, if you could create your own national costume, what would it be? I actually created my bird. That you was did? my idea, yes. But you almost fell? Yeah, I almost <laughs> I did almost fall because they didn't warn me on the wires. Yeah, so I, I had one fitting and that was just to draw and sketch. And then when it came to Las Vegas, that was the very first time I wore it. So heavy or not, I had to go out with it. Yeah. So how, how did you break your fall? I held on to the wardrobe person and she was like, wait. <laughs> and then tell me a little bit, any challenges have you had since you've been here? Like I said, in general, just representing a smaller island, you know, we don't have a big fan base as some of the other countries, so it's kind of hard to wake up every day and feel motivated like you can do it. But I feel like that's probably the only downfall, but it's not really a downfall because it only pushes me to prove everyone that I can do it. It doesn't matter if I have a fan base. I just have to be lovable to Miss Universe. That's all that matters. <laughs> and then lastly, uh, first thing you'll do after the pageant's over? Mm -hmm. Well, my family will be here, so I, would, I just want to have a peaceful dinner and get ready to go back to Haiti and visit all of the little girls who I'm doing this for. Hello, viewers. Make sure to watch the Miss Universe pageant December 20th on Fox and vote for Haiti. Please, Haiti, I need you.